Okay, so we are live. So sorry, we actually had a bit, a lot, I won't say a bit, <laughs> a lot of network glitches. That's what comes with having to, to do stuff with technology, right? But the good thing is, whichever the case may be, we are here and that's what matters most, right? Thank you everyone for joining in and we know that um, others will join in very soon as well. So we are live, we are live, Hoop, hoops, we promise to do this. And here we are. I just wanna make sure that everything is going on well so that you don't get to miss anything. So we have one person watching already. Let's know who you are. Let's know where you're watching from. Just use the chat section. As much as possible, we would acknowledge you on this live stream. Okay, so my name is Dr. Toyin Sam Emehelu, and I'm the lead consultant at Coskills Transformational Academy Limited. Uh, by the grace of God, I have been an educator, a coach, a consultant, all together for close to 27 years now. And I'm grateful to God for all that he has done for me. And like I, I've always said, and like I've always said, for those that know me well, I don't like to achieve success alone. I like to take as many people with me. So I'm like a pioneer, right? I go out there, do all the rough work, and I come back to say, hey, people, see what I found, see what I've discovered, see what I've been able to do. So we have three people watching now. Thank you so much for joining in pretty early. So it really shows that you have been waiting for us all the while. So like I said, it's great to have you here joining us live. And we do not take this for granted because you can as well have been doing any other thing, you know, uh, this beautiful Saturday morning. I mean, it's 10 a.m. You could be chilling and doing other things. But you are here with us. And because of this, we want to say a very big thank you. Yes, yeah, so aside from the fact that I am an education consultant, a coach, yada, 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 <laughs> like one of my favorite podcasters would say, I am also, um, I work as the Senior Special Assistant to the Director General at the Chartered Institute of Mentoring and Coaching Nigeria. I am also an author of 15 books as at the time of this live recording. And of course, I'm a wife and a mother to two young, astonishing leaders. I am a professional member with a lot of professional bodies, some inclusive of the IMC, International Management Consultants Association, Chartered Institute of Mentoring, Coaching and Chartered Institute of Mentoring and Coaching Nigeria. I am also a fellow. I'm also a fellow with the Pan African Consulting Institute. So enough said about me. Let me dive straight in. I have my guest in the room. This morning I told him that we are looking like twins. <laughs> so, Coach Daniel, over to you. Let's meet you, sir. Let us meet you. <laughs> Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you clearly, oh, loud fantastic. and clear. Uh, fantastic. Um, so it's a pleasure to be here, Dr. Tony. Like I always call you, Dr. P. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me once again. Um, so my name is. Hey, let me know if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, fantastic. Okay, so my name is Daniel Okinadera. I'm a business coach, coach consultant, and a CEO of CAG Consult which is a uh, business consulting firm that helps businesses scale their business. I'm also a senior auditor with one of the big four multinational firms. And I've been privileged to be one of the auditors to work on some of the big names and big brands that you really know, or I can't mention names here. Then of course, I'm also a co-founder of Premium Get Global, a content marketing uh, firm. And that, that, that's me in a nutshell. My coach likes to be very humble like that. <laughs> Patience, I see you. I see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. So I have five people on the live stream, seven people joining us, Coach D. We are so blessed this morning. And then I know a lot of people will get to watch the replay. 
Oh, beautiful. So that's my coach in a nutshell. Like I said, he's a very humbly, humble, humble person. But then he's a fantastic, how would I put it? I mean, I don't have any regrets having to have met him. Okay, so Coach D, we are actually here to tell stories. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so, um, but before that, we like we would like to know how many businesses have you watched, worked with? Yes, thank you, Oreva. Thank you. Thanks for joining live. How many businesses have you worked with? And um, so far, I mean, when did you actually started your journey as a business a growth consultant? And how many? Let's let's just have a few statistics. And if you can share with us across which industries have you been able to serve, and have you helped people to scale and transform ever since you became a coach? All right, thank you very much. Um, so I've been in the coaching business uh, for close to a decade. And wow. I've been privileged to work with um, quite a number of businesses. Um, I'm talking about businesses that span across diverse uh, industries, uh, from the telecommunications to real estate, to pure consulting businesses, education consulting, as well as uh, business consulting, uh, content marketing, branding, and L the healthcare center as well, construction and IT as well. So as you know, consultants mm. spans across yeah, yeah, the center of yeah. different kinds of businesses. So Absolutely. I'm more of a business strategist that that can mm. work with a variety of, of, of companies. So over the years I've been able to work with um, if I if I have my data right, we're we're talking about businesses that span across um close to fifty. About to see, uh, work directly with, and uh, I have just success stories as um, as um, assurance of the depth of our work in huge economy. Mm. Interesting, spanning across IT, you know, construction companies, and me. I am I am only <laughs> I'm only in the education sector, of course, transiting into business like you. When I grow, I want to be like you. So before we go to the next question, we have some other people joining in and they've commented. Wow, are they wrong? Care joining all the way from Aquaibom Uyo. Uh, thank you, Olola De Adeniro. Thank you. Good morning. So somebody says, Good morning, Coach D. Good morning, Doctor. So DD. All right, we are having so many things. <laughs> in cover this morning. Okay, so yes. Um, we met to be precise around this time last year, right? If I can remember, in fact, yeah. I, I'm thinking, I'm beginning to think, I think it was like on the, on the 14th or 12th or 13th. <laughs> and, I, I'm not sure uh, we do. Yes, but I knew it was January, right? And it was on an online, we both volunteered as coaches with the Teach for Nigeria. And I mean, we just connected there, we exchanged phone numbers, and like they say, the rest is history. And we, we've been working together for the past um, 12 months, to be precise. So for you, what has been the most significant re result you have helped Costco's Transformational Academy Limited to achieve in the last one year? I mean, there are a lot of things we've had to do together, seriously. But then I think it's also a nice time for us to reflect and say, what are the things we've been able to achieve? You know, as my business coach, me, I know I can write an epistle, but for you, I, I want them to hear from the horse's mouth so that they will not say, mm, Dr. Toy, Dr. Toy, <laughs> what to you, coach? Okay, okay, fantastic. Oh, please, can you confirm that we're live? Someone is uh, sending messages to see that. To yes, that. we are live, so I you can. guys do... are not live. Okay, so let me No, we are live. So apparently, maybe the, the person was looking at my, the person is look was looking at my pay, my profile not my page okay okay yes yeah, so i'm going to send you the direct link for the person to access the okay. live stream right now and then i think okay. that would be that will okay. be it so it's kind of delivering because i mean nine people are here already i can see them from my end okay. um so i just got them from yeah, the here that yeah. was, they were telling me how to yeah. okay let me see okay. if i can just yeah. make it easy for them to do right I think it was delivered now at your end. Yes. Yay! I so we have to go to school. 
we have tender taught school good morning sir good morning ma'am because it's the name of a school we can see here <laughs> and we don't want to assume the person is a woman or a man okay so coach d over to you sir okay so excellent so basically um course skills uh transformation of literature like everybody knows uh Dr. Tony is the CEO of Course Skills Transformational Limited. And just a quick backstory, uh, just to show how things can happen at the speed of light. Uh, so, like mm -hmm. Madam Tony said, we met at Teach for Nigeria uh, mentorship program, um, a Zoom program actually. And as always, Dr. Ben was there to, you know, to ask questions and share thoughts. And in the breath of sharing her thoughts, she mentioned that she was the special um special advisor to the dg of uh instead of coaching and mentorship which just sparked my curiosity because at the time i didn't know that kind of platform exists in nigeria so of course i just sent a private message right there on zoom and then we got on whatsapp and like she said the rest is history because immediately you know Katoni is very fast and very swift she was able to quickly like i need you i need you i need you Scheduled a session, scheduled a meeting, and then we met, and then we started this journey. So that's like the backstory. So we met at, it was a very um, funny way we met, but as you can see, it's really um, spiraled into something very productive. And so at the time we met, uh, I met Dr. Tony. I, she was the Alpha and Omega of Course Skills Transformational Limited, uh, which means that she was literally carrying Course Skills by herself, in quotes. Although she had um, about two staff working there, but the, the weight of the work was resting on Dr. Twain. And if you know Dr. Twain very well, you know her pedigree, you know how, you know, how strong and solid she is. I mean, someone that's written close to 16 books, a third close to 16 books, someone with a doctorate degree, someone who has you know, consultants for hundreds of businesses, so a known name, a big brand here in Lagos and in Nigeria as a whole. So you can know that she was not like a small person, in quotes. But of course, there's so much one person can do per time. And if you want to scale a business, you would need the right kind of support. And that was the point where Dr. Tony and I met. Okay, so that's like to help you understand where Dr. Tony was at the time, okay? And during that time, the first thing we did in our first session, which we will be working with through the three, um, the three step sequence, that, you know, released Dr. Tony to, you know, being able to now focus on high productivity activity as opposed to the everyday activities, which comes exactly. back from and the growth sorry, of the business to practice. Sorry, 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 to, sorry to cut in. So in the last couple of days and weeks, people were people have been asking me, I mean, you did your first live event last week. This Today again, you're having your webinar. Tomorrow, you're starting Cost Skills Mentoring 17.0. So it's like, people are like, you're moving at a speed of light. I mean, we know you have high energy prior to now. <laughs> but now it's as though you're moving at a crazy level of energy. You know, so I just wanted to chip that in that it's because of Coach Daniel. <laughs> like he said, he helped me, you know, he enabled me to be able to focus on, okay, he, he usually say there's, the, there's working on the business and working in the business. So it's like now my, my our rate, I won't say mine because it's no longer just me, okay? So my team and I, our rate of, of, um, of productivity has actually accelerated. Okay, Coach D, sorry for, for cutting in, but I needed to quickly chip that in for those that have been well, asking people, how come all these things just, I mean, today is just for teens, and how come you are, we have been able to do all those things within this few days? Yeah, over to you, sir. Okay, fantastic. Uh, that was an amazing um, contribution, to be honest. And so, as just to continue from where you stopped, so that was the point where, uh, I met Dr. Tony and I was actually shocked, you know, about how she was able to navigate all of this uh, with me to support. And that also, sh also ex uh, showed me that with the right support, she would go very far and very fast, right? Uh, so the first 
like there's a three step sequence that we had to go through. And the first step, of course, you can't just meet someone today and start preferring solution, right? You will prefer the wrong solution, right? So the first step, which is the first step in the three step sequence is to understand where the business is at, at the moment. So most times we just want to carry out activities and keep moving and keep moving and keep moving and they forget to evaluate. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to pause. Let's take a look at cost scale. And that was the first stage, evaluating the state of cost scale transformation limited at that time. So in that, in, at that point, what we were able to do at the point was we were able to really drill down and understand the SWOT analysis of cost scale, the strength, the weakness, opportunity, the threats, and more importantly, because it's more like a one-man business, it was more like a one-man business at the time, we also had to check the strength, the weakness, the opportunity and threats of Dr. Tony herself. You get. So for us to move forward, we need to actually support the CEO, right? So first, we understood where the business was. And the next thing is understood Dr. Tony as a person. What kind of support will she need if she wants to really go forward? Because... The visionary, the CEO is at the heart of the business. If the visionary and the CEO is not in the correct state, the business cannot go beyond the CEO. So that was the first uh, thing we did, evaluating the business. And when we get to the, uh, the more details into the three-step sequence, I'll, I'll be giving more details into what on the find the business and developing business look like. Uh, we're able to do that, sort of analysis of the business and Dr. Toy. We're also able to um, separate Dr. Twain from the business, which was <laughs> what was going on at the time. Whoa. So there was no difference. <laughs> no, yeah, so there was no difference between core skills and Dr. Twain. They were all mixed together. Meanwhile, a business is a living, breathing, and different organism, right? So it can stand independent of the founder. There are two different things. They must be running in parallel. Right, so we're able to separate the pain from the business so that the business is a standalone entity and Dr. Queen is a standalone brand that she is because she's not an average, she's way up there. So we need to separate Dr. Queen's brand from the business. And of course, another thing we're able to do achieve for the cost skills, we're able to now start to automate the finances of cost skills. Prior to the time we met uh, Dr. Twain, um, the financing system wasn't uh, in place. So we're able to automate the finances and keep track of the finances to establish profitability. So we we'll know what the profit of the business is on a monthly basis. And then that also helps us to track if the business is moving forward or the business is just gliding through. Okay? So we're able to uh, automate our finances. Of course, we're able to... to, to also... Use that uh, that will scale the business so in the cost of you know the coaching um, time we're able to um show dr tony how to um articulate business goals and more importantly how to separate everyday goals from goals that will scale the business and goals that will build the business there are three types of goals right so during the course of our the coaching session last year we're able to um, articulate all of those to Dr. Tony. And that really, you know, ensure that Dr. Tony is prioritizing activities that will now grow the business, scale the business, build the business, as opposed to just gliding through and just making money and there is really no substance to the business, right? And of course, in, uh, in the course of the purchase, we're able to show that going out to model other similar businesses so that all the ideas are not coming directly from us. So you can leverage yeah. on, you know, mentors, people in similar um, similar uh, industries to gain yeah. ideas to push the business further. And of course, when we do SWOT analysis for Dr. Tony, we're able to now spot, you know, the type of support, the kind of support that, we, that she would need. Graphic designers, um, uh, um, assistants, and all of that. Things that would help us focus on what's important. And that's what the SWOT analysis would be, focus. right? <laughs> exactly. So that as the CEO now, she, fo she would focus primarily 
on what's really important. So, and the cost of the year, she's able to add about quite a number of new employees to cause this transformation, which also freed her up to focusing on important um, activities. And among yeah. other things, some of the major things that we're able to achieve, and uh, with that, you know, cost skills was able to maximize opportunities and was able to grow as a business, right, in a quantifiable and sustainable manner. So, we're able to achieve Amazing. so I don't want to give figures or whatever. So, <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> So that people not start chasing me in my dreams and in real life. <laughs> okay, yes. So coach D, so yes, at this point, um, you know, it seems so easy the way Coach Daniel is talking about it. it. Seems so seamless. Sincerely, it was a lot of work. Okay. But aside from that, yeah, there was a place of financial commitment as well. So remember what Koji said about you know um good morning from Mary. good morning great to have you so um remember what it spoke about having to work with one of the most influential multinational as we speak here globally i'm not talking about nigeria so we don't want to mention names as well okay but then that's just the truth and i remember when i approached coach d you know what he told me he said ah yeah madam it's good you know they went smiling like this <laughs> He's a very nice human being, but Koji is also very... Hey, what do you expect from a business coach and consultant? Yay, Simeon. Thank you. Joining all the way from Abuja. So what do you expect from a business growth consultant before? He said, you know what, Dr. Tony, I'm a consultant and my fee is $100 per. Is it per hour or per session? I mean, I almost freaked per out. Per session. <laughs> per session, yeah. I almost freaked out. I like, ha. Huh? See this young man, no oh, Lord of God. Do you want to kill me? You want to kill Belsley? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. You know, but I, I just knew, you know, I knew there was just something about him. And that was even before we met physically, right? I said, okay, at least let me go and, let me go and see for myself. And 99% of all the coaching session was virtual. Right, Coach D was virtual. I didn't have to see you. Mm -hmm. We just did everything online. And he said his charge was $100 per session. And I was like, Coach, please, eh, I need you in my life. Because like I said, when I was writing the, the, the invitation for this program, I was at a point in my life where, wow, we have Victoria Okemute from Abuja to Abuja people. You guys are raining. <laughs> You know, I was, I, was at, I was at that point where, sincerely, my business was almost to the ground because of health issues and all that. I don't want to bore you with all the stories. And Coach D was like, okay, so let's see. So, of course, we got into the conversations. And, I, I mean, after, by, 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 by April, May last year, I was already seeing the results. And um, at a point, we did something for school owners and school leaders around structuring and having systems for your school. And it was just 10,000 then. But this time, Coach, I was like, Coach, you know what? Yes, webinar is fine. But I think what I would like is to be able to have, even if it is one, two, three, or four businesses that are on this call right now that can sign up for this for what I what I went through, because for, for me or for us, I would say it's not just about cost cost transformation academy limited. We also want to bring as many businesses as possible to the level at which they are able to also scale. Because aside from being beneficial to that individual, we have more people having to get jobs. Am I right, Coach D? I, I, I'm beginning to speak I like you now. Are able to increase the GDP, whether you like it or not, every one of us have, we contribute to the economy of Nigeria. So I was like, let's have a bigger picture. So we got to talking and we were like, okay, let's have this webinar. Let's tell people, let's share our result. Let's share our testimony. Hallelujah, somebody. You know, so, and I was like, Koji, can you do this for us? If you calculate $100 now, my men and brethren, at this time we are, we know it's a lot of money. <laughs> So I said, okay, you know what? Can we at least have a school join in for 50,000 naira, you know, um, in such a way that let's help, you know, let's help, let's help create like an audit. Let's help create like, wow, Elizabeth, 
Kafilas, good morning. Let's create, help create the three sequences that you did to help me. And guess what? It's not only Koji that will be doing this. I will be working alongside with him to make sure that we deliver on results. And you know, those of you on this call, you know me. I don't, my, I don't talk with just my mouth. I do whatever it is that I promise. So Koji and I, what a force that we want to come together to actually provide. All we need is just about five, about five schools or five businesses. You don't have to be a school, okay? That would be able to um, be a part of this. So I've dropped the seller link on the chat and you can as well send me a personal message. A lot of us that join this live stream, you got our our notification. All you need is just to 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 pay fifty thousand, and then we'll we'll, be, we'll begin to help you to scale and experience all the wonderful things it is that I, I have experienced in the last one year. I mean, like like you said, we don't want to start mentioning figures, yeah, right? But I mean, like our normal people say. My business grew from about four to five digits to six digits, okay? So I think with that, you have a fair idea of what I'm trying to talk about, you know? So that basically is one of the reasons why we have decided to say, you know what, don't let us keep this to ourselves. It won't be nice. I mean, my own conscience will not be able to take this, all right? So aside from the fact that my, my coach is very, very industrious, very very cool. He's a, he's a very fantastic person to be with. And he's a fine boy, you know, like I always tell him, and he's highly cerebral. <laughs> <laughs> and I was telling you, I said, I'm glad I like twins this morning. The only thing is just that I me, mean, I don't have open seats in the front like this. But we have punk together, we have glasses together. Well, that I'll go and find our open seats. Okay, so enough of my, you know me, I can talk for Africa. So, so enough of that. So please, if you are interested, kindly send a message to me. Um, the seller link is also there. That's if you are watching us from any part of the world that you can easily reach us. But you can always say that, yeah, that's it. Then there's an administrative number that is there. So make sure that you are part of this and make sure that you are able to scale your business this year. I mean, see, yes, fine. They talk about inflation, the economy, blah, 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 blue, blue, blah, blah, blue, blue, blue. But the truth is that with the right support system, sincerely, you can get to do anything you want to do and get to do it well. So enough of my preaching. Okay, so um, basically, I think you have shared the three convers sequence we used. Or was it only the first one you shared, Coach, Coach D? Yeah, that's the, that's the first one. Okay, so let's keep the remaining two for those that will sign up, right? I think that would be a nice idea. <laughs> uh, let, me just, let, me just, let me just let me just uh, touch on them briefly. Okay, so so, uh, so as a matter so of fact, I'm not also done yet. I'm still. You know which coach did, but I think we are almost to third, right? We've yeah. gone almost to third, yeah, and that's it. Okay, so coach D, over to you, sir. Okay, um, so just to um, touch on the um, the major points. So, for the listeners and the viewers out there, the first thing you want to know in 2023 is this: take a look at your business, right? Take a look at yourself. And you have to take an honest and objective look, right? Are you really where you want to be? That's a question you genuinely need to answer, okay? And there's no point fooling around or there's no point, you know, justifying it. The point where your business is at right now, right? The step you need to take, just like when you feel sick to a certain point, you go to the hospital, right? So if yeah. your business is going to the point where it is plateaued, you're going to the point where you are stuck, you're not moving left or right, you're making money in trickles. It's key, it's paramount, it's important that you seek support. And life is very simple, I have to be honest with you. It's garbage in, garbage out. You can't give what you don't want. Yeah. Your business, your school, your service, whatever it is, cannot grow beyond you. That's the mm. reality. So mm. the shortcut, the smarter route is to leverage on someone else's competence to mm. get you moving. Mm. Okay? And most of the time, it's not like you're really stuck. You just lack clarity. That's the reality. Right? You just need to be able to sit down with an expert and voice out what you think you know that you don't know. Yeah. Right? And that's the only way you can learn and relearn. 
right? So if you don't want to replicate the results you had in 2022, 2023, you need to like take some aggressive step, take some level of risk you've not taken before because the ROI would be massive. That's what you need to do. And if you are not growing, your business cannot grow beyond you. Take that for yeah. me. So, yeah. But then, if you really want to move, like I said earlier, the first step is to identify the problem, which is where is your <coughs> business right now, right? Where is your business right now in terms of your performance, in terms of your finances? When I, I'm talking about, when I speak about finance, I'm talking about what are the assets you have right now? What are the liabilities? What are the streams of income you have right now? What ideas do you have on ground, right? That's what I'm talking about when I talk about your finances. What are the daily expenses? What's, what's your markup? What's your margin, right? How much do you have to make in a month to be profitable? Do you have a salary as a CEO or just spending it all? Can you separate business from your personal finances? That's more like it, right? That's what you need to look at. Where is the business right now? Honestly, objectively, don't fool around. You, you, you're playing yourself. So at this point, you have to look at all of those, the performances, the finances, the processes of the business, right? And all of that, there's a template for that already, right? That's where the business. So the second stage will now be, where is the business going, right? So without a target, you'll be, you know, shooting a part of it. There's nothing in view. You're not running towards anything. You're not tracking anything. You're just moving. You're making money in trickles. There's nothing behind it. So that's what it is. Where is the business right now? And what that means is we will be teaching you how to set smart goals, right? Short-term, mid-term, long-term goals. What do they really look like based on your kind of businesses? So we'll be setting goals around the customer, your return client, the services, social media, um, marketing, and whatnot, right? We need to sit down, evaluate your business, then set targets, monthly targets, quarterly targets, annual targets that will be no. evaluating you based on, you on the monthly days. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, you're back. Okay, I'm back. Yes, okay, sir. So where did you stop hearing me from? So your market, you're saying something about your market and all. Okay, so um, what I was um, um, trying to say, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, beautiful. So what I was trying to say in a nutshell is the second stage is where we identify and articulate where the business is going, aka your goals. Okay, and in this second stage, this is where we articulate, right, your short term, your mid term, and your long term goals where every single month we have goals set, we have target. So we want to treat your small business like a big multinational. That's the whole idea, right? So in this stage, we evaluate all of those goals. And more important, where people miss goal setting is they don't distinguish between general goals, scaling my business goals, and building my business goals. There are three different types of goals. There's the general goals, that's the general everyday goal every everybody can set that but now we need to quantify what scaling my business looks like right so if on a monthly basis you're making a million averagely that's your revenue that's your turnover right on a monthly basis so now how can we move to five million hmm. right so that's what scaling my business looks like so now that one million you've already figured it out so we will articulate how you arrive at your one million on the very month today. So now what else in the month can we start to set up that in the next two, three months or in the next month, we can push that income to five million. So we need to set what it looks like. We need to, need to conceptualize it and understand what would five million look like? What do we have to do? What do we have to put in place? Then we have to set goals in that regard so that by the next quarter, we will have moved from one million to five million. Then there is also building my business goals. That is structured around putting systems in place that keeps the business agile, independent of you as the CEO. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's really what that second stage is like. It's, it sounds simple, but it's really genuinely a lot of work. 
because that's where we sit down, brainstorm, articulate all the ideas, model, and then we get to work. Right? So as opposed to just setting goals, let me just make one million in a month and go and sleep. No. You're making that, but we're also looking at making five million, ten million. Well, yeah. I'm also trying to put systems in place that makes that money independent of you. That's building my business. Scaling my business is to bump that money up, building my business to build that business in a way that you don't need to be active. Because at the end of the day, we're going for freedom, right? Freedom is the ultimate. So those are what we need to start to sit down to articulate, such that when you end the year 2023, you would have moved further than you expect. And then you can take your a vacation for a full month and your business still working 10 million. Yeah, like I did in August. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that's the whole point. So we need to systemize all of those and we need to conceptualize, we need to sit down, evaluate, and take a very close look mm. and then get that done. That's what the second level is all about. Then the third level is where we now sit down to strategize. Now, the mistake people make is this they do their business evaluation in their head. They do their goal setting in their head. They strategize all in their head, right? And even the business but, is happening in their head. <laughs> exactly. Their finances, it's in their head. But over here, we do a lot of documentation because we're running a business. The business is not you. The business is a standalone, right? So at this stage, we now get to strategize on how the business will achieve the goals we set and we document our step-by-step -step strategy. So at any point you're confused, you revert back to whatever strategy you've already planned. And then during our coaching meetings, we just discuss targets and you know share tips on how to do more work. But the third stage is simply where you sit down with the coach, that is Dr. Tony and I, and then we sit down to strategize on the best path forward, what you will need what you need to put in place, the people you need to approach, right, to actually eat those targets. And that's where the strategy part comes in. So people just set goals without strategy. It's pointless. Yeah. Right? There's no difference between you that set a goal and someone that didn't, and didn't strategize and someone that didn't set a goal at all. You are the same thing. In the first place, it's, yeah. It's, it's the same and thing. Both of you have the same result. You set a goal, you didn't strategize, and someone did not set a goal at all. You guys are yeah. the same. You just wasted yeah. your own time. That's the whole point. So sure. that's why that three-step sequence is crucial. Okay, evaluate your business. Set goals across board, building my business, scaling my business, general goals, and of course, strategize for now to get a goal. And believe me when I tell you this, for you to move to the next level, take it from me, you need support. You need help. Don't fool around. Don't justify. Don't over-analyze you need support or you would replicate the results of your previous years note that what? like all that word to add you would replicate the previous years. you need support so you can move and so you can be free to do more important tasks and that's very crucial if you stock get the right investment approach um, get the right support system and then you see you keyword here the right support system if you get the wrong support system you even go downward that's it <laughs> that's the <laughs> yes so you need to wow. actually, that's why it's very key that you evaluate your business evaluate mm. yourself first. so yeah, you first. know what kind of support you need yeah. because you don't so like dr tony now she doesn't need a content writer she's the content factory Right? Exactly. So <laughs> someone like Dr. T doesn't need quite a number of things. She's because she has that on lockdown. But another area she might be struggling with it, but because yeah, she's not full of When it comes to for figures, so all of your numbers there. Eh? <laughs> exactly. And that's why so we could that, get a data analyst, you know, that works with us on the on the business now. And that has been amazing yeah. and eye-opening. Yeah, because those are areas of weaknesses for me. Yes. Yes, amazing. Okay. So with your, yeah. with your SWOT analysis, it will help you narrow it down to what you would need. And you don't have to you, attend all the webinars, you don't have to attend all the seminars, you don't have to get all the types of coach. Your SWOT <laughs> analysis will reveal what you need per time. You can't exactly. chase multiple rabbits. Mm -hmm. right? You need to chase that major one that will shift. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So what SWOT analysis help you do? It helps you articulate what you need. Right, what 
that's one thing that if you resolve can spiral into giant leaps so that's what sort of you do so you're not chasing tiny 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 things no 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 no, no. you're wasting time rather we'll go to the roots of the issue and that's the ad that Tony was talking about this thing sounds very simple but mm. i mean the you can testify it was a lot i went work. through fire. it was a lot of <laughs> but work. the result Believe was me. what it coach the result was what it the result was what it you know so you know my coach has said it at any webinar seminars are good but there's nothing like you have a coach that will work with you because i mean all of us on the webinar we have different problems though we are listening to the same thing exactly we can't be tailor-made exactly. All right, it can't be tailor made to meet our own peculiar needs. Like you said, my own strength is somebody else's weakness. My weakness is somebody else's strength. And if it was, was a webinar exactly. that I just attended and I wouldn't have to invest heavily to make sure Coach Daniel comes with me on this journey, I wouldn't be where I am today. CETA will not be where, Costis Transformation Academy Limited will not be where it is today. Yes, so while you were speaking, we had Elizabeth, Olowo Kere, we had Yee, Ogechi Shalom, all the way from Kano, we had Morufa Temitokbe, uh, Jenny Ron, we have, um, oh, Doris Obeki joining us. Beautiful, beautiful. Welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody. Yes, so, um, Dr. Dem, Coach Daniel has a unique selling point that I need to share with us. And I will always tell him, I've always told, see, I mean, I've been to Cherry Blair mentoring program in the UK. I joined the Lagos Chambers of Commerce and Industry Entrepreneurship Program. I'm not saying that all they did was, wasn't worth it for me. But, you know, there was this day when I went to Kodana, it was just magical. Why? Because of his simplicity. You know, and I know a lot of us on this call are educationists. So we are technocrats, we are passionate, we love what we do. But when it comes to the business side, we are not even zero. Most of us are minus. <laughs> and I, I'm a very, yes, I'm, I'm a very sincere person. I don't, see, people say if, if other people are deceiving, you don't deceive yourself, right? And I was mm -hmm. humble enough to tell myself that, see, guy, like my daughter would say, guy. <laughs> if they call both ladies and, and guy, guy now, that's the new thing, guy. I tell myself, I said, I needed help. So please, if you are watching this live stream, I've decided to please appeal to Coach Daniel, beg him and all that, because, I mean, when, when I approached him, he was charging $100 per session, and you know that was means, but we were, we were like, okay, Coach Daniel, please, I would like you to bring you to my community. Most of us are educationists, so please, I would appreciate if you can come in. That doesn't mean that if you are into any other business here, you can't reach out to us. Well done, blessing, it can thank you. So even if it's even if it's a side also that you have, because I know a lot of us as educators, we have side also. Even if it's a side also we have, even if it's any kind of business you have, please, I will encourage you to enroll in this coaching program. It's flexible, it's virtual. You don't have, we don't have to see, you don't have to see yours physically. As what is important is that we all must grow this year. See, whether you like it or not, there's a lot of competitions that have gone ahead and you must be very intentional about your finances. It is called running costs, <laughs> running costs. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna spend. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna buy. So the idea now is you must learn how would you get your own money out of the money that is in circulation and that is this is what we are talking about so you've been doing one man businesses all these days and you're not getting as much as okay so get you said do we have help for new businesses in fact you are a lot more at advantage right coach d you may want to answer that do we have so for so yes so for for new businesses i think it's, it's even smarter to start writing and to start exactly correcting because exactly. that will position you at a point where you just leverage and right on the shoulder of selling you so that will mean from I the wish, onset you're doing like the you. right writing yeah you understand yeah. so for so yeah. for example for, for example it's all like i'm um, dr dr Tony, you know, at some point we need to articulate the fixed element of cost skills income you get so there is for cost skills for example now People just run businesses. They don't have some fixed element of income where that income is guaranteed to come in every month. Meanwhile, you have fixed running costs. You understand? <coughs> so you are perpetually at a disadvantage. 
So if you don't figure out a way to fix some level of income, mm. you will just be running at a, at, at a disadvantage. And if you don't have a way of tracking your finances from the beginning, mm. you will not even know whether you are running a charity program yeah. or you are just wasting time. Well, did, you, did you remember so, when... For new, yeah. Okay, Do you remember okay. when you had to tell me that I must go and dig out all the finances for over one year? I wanted to die. Thank God I've been doing it one thing <laughs> one time. <laughs> Coach D was very tough for me. Don't mind the way he's smiling like this, though. But, you know, I, I just love him for that. He, he will he will insist and he will say, Dr. Toy, we are going to do this thing. And you're going to do it. So, Gechi, you are in safe hands. Yes, we do have for new businesses. And like he said, so reach out to me. So even if, I think, I think Ogechi, let's talk because I really want to support you. Ogechi is streaming from Kano in the north. Oh, amazing, amazing. There's amazing. a lot of potential. She's actually my mentee. She's been on my mentoring program. So, Ogechi, let's get to talk after now. Let's see how we can work this out. Okay, okay so, amazing. wow, this is 45 minutes already. Coach G, you love this, your business is. So how can we reach you um, on your social media handles? Then after that, let's just hear a final word from you before we sign out. Okay, um, so I can be, uh, you can check me out on LinkedIn, Daniel Organadera. You can also check me out on Facebook, Daniel Organadera. I think I'll drop it in the message box. And of course, you can check no me out on Instagram at uh, Daniel. So those are the areas of places you can find me. I'm not so active on Twitter yet. So these are the major, these are three areas you can um, find me. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So my so final he, words, my final words, okay. Go on, please. Yeah, so I wanted to tell them that, please, if you are approaching Coach Daniel, make sure you, you put my name in front, though, because he will charge you $100 per session. <laughs> if you are just coming as a... <laughs> <laughs> it has even increased, funny enough. It has increased. Though. Hey, Lord it's of fine. God. How much is it now, sir? About 150. 150. So please just make sure you put my name. So my name is that that name that opens the door. Is that code that will not say, oh wow, ah, okay, okay, okay. Because if you just approach him like that, he's just going to give you a standard uh, official price. So final words from you, sir. Okay, so the final word is this. So what I will tell you today is is this for you to move to the next level you need to do some next level thing, okay? And 2023 is just starting. So the earlier you create a running budget for growth, the better for you. Because mm. if you genuinely want to grow yourself, have a happy life, have that awesome experience, you will need to not be conventional, mm. right? Imagine, I was talking to my one of my clients the other day, and we you know it was tracking his finances so we looked at the coaching fee and we looked at the amount he had made from a new business he started it was approximately 15x for a business he started by just coming to the coach for because he was depressed <laughs> you understand? Know so we literally looked at the number and we looked at the amount he made you understand know so imagine you holding on to that and then losing out on 15x so that's why I said earlier that you need to be objective with yourself. You need to look at yourself and understand your needs. Then go for that. If you need one-on-one, -on -one, go for one-on-one. -on -one. If you need a coach that has time, is patient and whatever, go for that. Don't generalize and then abuse coaches and consultants and say they are not competent, they are not this, because they are going to the wrong one. Exactly. Yes. So the exactly. going to the wrong one. So the existence of faith, right, is a guarantee that originality. Okay. That's what I was so about to say. Well so done, what, once you see those fees, you can have conversations with people where you know you pay instrumental and all of that. But that's a different problem. But just know that this year, generally it's just that you need to create a budget for growth. Mm. And you need to be intentional about your growth because the ROI, the return on investment on your growth is inquantifiable. You cannot mm. quantify because when you grow, you pass it on to your kids and people around you. You'll be able to help more people. So, yeah. I mean, what's more beautiful than that? So, please, we are 2023, please prioritize yourself, prioritize your business, prioritize your cash cows. If your business is making you one million, I don't, it can make you 10 million if you have the mm. right support. 
right? Ooh. So don't sleep on one million because the expenses are increasing every day. Prices are increasing. So Whether you, you like need to not. find a way to also... Whether you like it or not, you need to find a way to also increase your revenue or your bottom line. That's the point. Yeah. So please, mm -hmm. if you figured one million out, if you figured 500k out, let's move to five million. Let's move to three million. Yeah. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Wake up. Okay. So that's my final Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so I much told you, I told, I told you, my coach. See, I'm not a coach that does not have a coach, you. because a coach that does not have a coach is a cockroach. Yeah, I'm not a mentor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mentor that doesn't have a mentor. A mentor that doesn't have a mentor is a mentor. It's just like sweet. You know that mentor sweet. So I'm not that kind of person. And that's why, and like I said, it was it was it was magical. The experience I had with Kodanya was magical. And you know me, I have a disease. I, I my disease is I believe I have an abundance mindset. So a lot of people say, ah, I don't want other people to know about this, my coach. Oh, let me just gonna be him to myself. You know, I have an abundance mindset. I believe that the more prosperous as many people are, the better for our world. Because I mean, I can't sleep in two rooms, right? I can't lie down on two beds, right? I can't wear four shoes, right? <laughs> so when God has been faithful enough to increase me, I want to share. I want to share the information. I want to share the knowledge. I want, especially with, with my community, I am so passionate about all of us growing together. So at this point, I want to say thank you all once again. This is about the longest live video that I've done. This is 51 minutes. Coach D, hey, it is you. <laughs> but hey, I believe it's worth every single minute. And I want to say thank you for all the 15 people that stood from the beginning till the very end. That means that, Coach D, we made sense. If we made sense, put in the chat box that makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Do it right now. Do it right now. That's the least you can do for us, you know, so that we can have the feel that, yeah, we haven't wasted our time. We haven't wasted your time. And everyone here has been able to learn one or two things. All right. So this is where we'll be signing out. If you are going to be watching the replay, let us know. Just put in there. Yes. Yo, okay, you. Thank you. Say so, yes, you do have an abundant mindset, Ma. Thank you so much for sharing, Doctor. Yeah, I'm a I'm a good sharer. So if you are watching the yeah, I've been Bola. Yay! Hello, sis. Yay! Well done. Okay, Simon. Thank you so much. Say so, we we made hundred percent sense. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, guys. So please remember to reach out to me. Don't procrastinate. Do it today. Do it today. And then we have conversations about this. We see how we can work it out. It is workable. Please don't, don't, don't limit yourself. Don't say, yeah, me, okay, 50,000. Even if you want us to have a, an installment plan, let's have a conversation around this. Let's make sure that today we do not end up wasting our time. Yes, Olola just said made sense. Victoria, thank you, sis. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let us make this work. And cheers. Patience, plenty of sense. Beautiful. Cheers to an amazing year ahead. I see you, you know, smashing your goal. In Cam, yes. And yes, let's I forget. So we are started core skills mentoring 17.0 tomorrow. Yeah, yes. Okay, yeah, me see. You can always come back here. You will always get a replay. That reminds me. And you know what, Coach D? Hmm. This is my team. They showed me Shaggy. So the standard cost is 160000 But did you know they had to tell me that we should do a 75% offer? I have never done that in my entire life. So instead of paying 160000 you're going to be paying 40000 for the eight weeks. Eight weeks of my own life, of my own time. Coach G, I know you're about to cane me, but you know what? You're the one that said I should go and do for Timo, and I've gotten it. So please, if you make sure, we are starting tomorrow, we are kicking off tomorrow. If you're also interested in that, make sure you get in touch via the messenger or the admin number placed here. We will pin it or just send me a message inbox, Facebook Messenger, or whatever you. So thank you guys. Thank you so much, Coach D. You know now, you know. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much, much for having me. I really appreciate it. Right. Thank you so much for having me. Bye, audience. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you very much.